am your host, meteorologist Leah Pizzetti. I am joined as always by NASA Solar System Ambassador Keith Krim, also a member of the Seattle Astronomical Society. Keith, thank you as always for being here with us this month. Thank you, Leah. Great to be here. Let's talk about our meteor shower that is going to fly through the sky this month. Yeah. Uh, when will this one appear? Well, the Leonids, Leonids, coming from the constellation Leo, apparent, uh, they appear to come from the constellation Leo. Uh, they'll peak on November 16th, after midnight, pretty much 15 an hour, 15 an hour. So, but the good news is the, it's a big shower, so they're gonna be uh, visible pretty much all month. So we'll look for a clear night and go out there anytime. Right around that time of November 16th was our new moon time. Mm -hmm. And that's really important because actually on the day of the new moon, the moon is up just during the daytime. So, uh, so it's not at, at night. So it's gonna be really dark around that time of the new moon. Oh, that's perfect. Great time, great time to go out and look for the Leonids, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And, and that's, we talk about that every month. You want that dark sky. Dark sky. So that's gonna be best for not just meteor showers, but yeah. any sky gazing yeah. that you do. You, you want the, the new moon. So there yeah. we go, mid-teens and into the 20s yeah. of November will be best for that. Okay, and look east. Look east, let your eyes adjust to the night sky, it takes 20 or 30 minutes. Use a red light, flashlight if you have one or there's yeah. one on your phone. I was gonna say, did, did you bring one? Can well, we see yours? There's look at this one. That's the one you gave me. Uh -huh. That's the one I gave you, yeah. The red that's, light. That's good, that's Can good. you see it everybody? Yeah. <laughs> that, that works. And you have a hat, you have, have your a phone. Hat. I have a phone, <laughs> yeah. I had a, a clunky, I have a clunky <laughs> flashlight that you can lay on a table like that. And it, Works great. And the red light is uh, for your eyes yeah, and for your the eyes. sake of adjusting to yeah. the darkness. Your eyes are still sensitive to red light, but if, as long as they keep it dim enough, you know, it's, it's, uh, it helps be able to see things like the Leonids. <laughs> All right, I love it. And especially if you're going out to a star party, Seattle Astronomical yep. Society hosts them. Yep. Uh, you don't want to be that person who comes out with a flashlight or headlights. Yeah, or takes a flash picture. Oh, not a flash picture. <laughs> no flash picture. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so uh, meteor shower. Let's talk about star clusters yeah. that are visible this month. Yeah. Uh, you want to yeah. use binoculars with these ones, though? Yeah. Especially the Pleiades. Pleiades okay. is, is getting in more, you can see it better in the winter. It's more of a winter thing. Uh, and uh, it's the Pleiades is the Seven Sisters, uh, also known as Subaru. Okay. If you notice the emblem on the car. Oh. It has, actually, it shows six stars. <laughs> but you, know, you can count anywhere from, I don't know, six or seven. They call it the Seven Sisters. Sometimes I can fuck find nine or 10 stars in that wow. cluster, but it's a beautiful cluster. It's quite large in the sky. If you put the moon next to it, it would be bigger than the moon. Wow. That's so, yeah, large in the sky. You can see it with your naked eye. Okay. Uh, especially using averted vision. Okay. Averted vision, looking out of the side of your eye. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, if you look slightly out of the side of your eye, uh, but focus your attention, focus your, focus this way, but focus your attention to the side. Okay. It'll pop. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. Oh, I've never pops. heard the that. The light coming in from the side of your eye uh, is more sensitive to these dim lights, like oh. Pleiades. Wow, okay, and let's talk about uh, time and location. So Pleiades uh, look to the east. East, yep. Uh, right around 9 p.m. mid-month. Yep. And mid then of course we have our dark sky. Yep. So that's helpful. Great time. Uh, and then the, say it for me, Nearby Hyades, Hyades. The Hyades. Another cluster. Uh, it is uh, considered uh, an open cluster uh, as opposed to a globular cluster, <laughs> which we can talk about another time. But uh, it's open cluster. It means it's not all, they're not all close together, but kind of spread out. Both of these are considered open clusters. All right. Okay, sounds great. We sometimes see things passing through our sky that are from outside of the solar system and one brand new this year. Keith, what are we seeing? We're seeing 3i Atlas, the third interstellar object to be identified coming through our solar system. And so uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be visible uh, later in the month and you need a big telescope to see it. I suggest uh, maybe visible on YouTube. <laughs> okay, and it's it's a comet, correct? Yeah, it's a com it's a comet, right? Okay, any reason to worry? Uh, no reason to worry about okay. it hitting Earth. <laughs> uh, I, the, the thing I would worry more about, uh, since I just mentioned YouTube, 
is there's a whole bunch of crazy information out there about mm -hmm. it. People thinking it's an alien spacecraft and so forth. We're good. But it's, you know, uh, it's it's an interesting study <laughs> to do. All right. But, uh, yeah. All right, Keith, thank you so much. Yep.